we've all seen a dead body. If you would like, Pathfinder, I could provide an analysis of the deceased. You're the Pathfinder. You're right. One of your crew, Liam, already secured parking for your vehicle. She's ready for you. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Even the water is like a festering wound that no medicine can heal. Should I send you back to the Tempest? Is that an option? All right, Sam. Show me what we've got. Kadara's water is dense with sulfide minerals, the oxidation of which produces toxic streams and lakes. Never liked swimming much anyways. That is fortunate. Even the Nomad's shields cannot withstand the water's corrosive properties. The presence of monoliths suggests a vault that might reduce the acidity. However, outlaws, pirates, and other unsavory exiles inhabit Kadara's hills. The further you travel from the mountain, the more dangerous it will become. Good to know. Let's get out there. Uh, the water's on fire. That's not natural, right? An exothermic reaction from the sulfuric acid coming in contact with water in the atmosphere. Exiles have quite a setup over there. Won't be happy to see us. Coming through! A wind farm. These exiles sure are resourceful. Must be how they power could our port. Got them all. Uh, everything on this planet's so pointy.
like those exiles stole tech from the port. We should be careful. Protocols activated. Deploying forward station. The cap ahead is not registered in Outcast or Collective Records Pathfinder. Looks like it goes underground. Hopefully, there's a way down. But we're gonna need a really big drill. This area could be viable for an initiative outpost, Pathfinder. However, for any long-term success, you'll need to find a solution to Kadara's water toxicity problems. The person running this place holds a grudge against the initiative. Doubt she'll let you settle here. What about the charlatan? The Collector's gaining power. We do not know the charlatan's identity. Sloan may be our only option. The dogs are on the right side. Rev claimed he buried the Ket transponder near this location. Look at his armor. Found it. Well, that's busted. The transponder's power source is drained. So let's juice it up. Turn it on, then Gil can work his magic. Once complete, this should provide us with the Archon's location, and in turn, Meridian's. We're one step closer to building a home in Helios. I enjoy your optimism. We just received a notification that there's been a murder in Kadara Port. Murder, huh? Might be something to look into. Yes. Lovely planet. Hope we never leave.
say, I was hoping for more yar pirates and less shooty pirates. That's it. Good work. What's up, Ryder? Why an emergency meeting? I didn't call it. I did. Got some disturbing news while we were on Kadara. There's some tension at the Krogan colony on Eladin. It's bad. Tension among Krogan? You don't say. I wouldn't waste your time with this if it wasn't important. We need to go. I agree. Nakmor Morta made herself overlord of the colony. It's weird. No. Our priority is the Archon. We have to remain focused on his next move. Jal's right. I know dealing with so many unknowns is frustrating, but we need to hear each other out. Well, as long as we're pitching stuff, I overheard outlaws on Kadara talking about activity in the Ramav system. No, that's the system where the Turian Golden World was supposed to be. Ramav? There aren't any viable planets there. Only an asteroid field with mining ventures run by criminals. I hear Eladin's pretty rough too. Roving scavengers with nothing to lose. Crap. No one fights harder than people with nothing to lose. But now that we have the transponder, we're so close to finding the location of Archon's ship. I'm with you. I can't wait to find the Archon's ship. And then, hopefully, Meridian. Anyway. Get Kalo the nav points for both Eladin and that potential Turian Golden World. We want all our options ready to go. Hey, I didn't say dismissed or meeting adjourned or anything. Meeting adjourned. As you were. <laughs>